Do you know that we are going to be approaching the five-year anniversary of the HasLab Jabba's Sail Barge? <laughs> Man, how time flies. And then next year, it's the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi. <laughs> wow. Hello, folks. Denob2 here. Thank you for joining me on a, I guess, a camera test? Yeah, let's call this a camera test. This is what... Uh, I was in the middle of cleaning, moving things around, dusted, and so forth. And uh, I have a couple of GoPros and, and special uh, GoPro lenses. And I have been debating about whether or not to take out the sail barge out, out on location. And seeing if I can get some cool, unique, different shots. So this, what like what you're seeing here, it's just me experimenting with a, a, a camera rig, a GoPro. Uh, I was simulating sunlight to see if I can get like a sunset look on it. Turned on the lights and uh, I, I attached the skiff, uh, little skiff uh, unit there. Uh, what the hell is it called? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's called a skiff, Java skiff. And I attached it to a arm to, uh, with the GoPro, kind of get uh, some first-person perspective here, see if it, how it looks, uh, to see if it, it, this is more for me, this is more to build my confidence uh, if these shots do look good, then I would feel comfortable and confident about taking all of this stuff out in the desert and uh, maybe doing some shots, uh, some video, maybe some really cool photos. Uh, I, I, Again, this is what happens when I get distracted, where I'm moving things around in my module cases, and then I end up catching myself playing with this stuff. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> uh, so, little different angles and different movements there. I can't believe it's been 40 years. It's go we're going on 40 years for, for Return of the Jedi. I do end up getting some interior shots. I have a GoPro 9, a GoPro 10, and then I have a, a Hero, a GoPro 5 Hero Session, which is their older, smallest one. But um, the problem with some of the older GoPro cameras is just the, the low lighting. They suck when it comes to low lighting. Now, when I got inside the barge here, I had it on a... On a super time-lapse set and, and I'm like oh and then I caught my mistake I ended up going back I attached the GoPro light they have a they actually make a special LED light uh, and uh, just popped it onto the GoPro and then I switched the lens I added some macro lens so that when the GoPro gets super close to something say within two to three inches it looks like it's in focus that's why certain shots here uh, look good and then as you look into the distance it's kind of blurry so this is the main entrance there uh, I don't know if you're aware of but Jabba Sail Barge does actually have a, a prison cell right there uh, it, I moved the uh, the droid and, and the door does slide and this is the second time I'm looking at this shot and I tried did the edit and I'm just blown away I just forgot about the amount of detail that Hasbro uh, through in here. I mean, these are interior shots that most collectors aren't even going to uh, display. To me, the the sail barge looks gorgeous uh, from the exterior, just having it all sealed up and stuff. But the fact that they took that extra level and added all of these details and, and uh, paint. I mean, they really weathered the hell out of this inside, which just looks cool. This is the main cockpit here. I thought it was clever that the camera could could grab a uh, uh, a shot from the cockpit on there. And I did I did uh, tacky fairy lights so that uh, that warm little LED lights and then the floor. It's just powered by three AAA batteries and and the the light. Uh, from the GoPro is a special GoPro uh, flashlight that just attaches to it. This is the kitchen. You can kind of see the lights on top. Uh, I, again, I mean, I, I went the extra effort. I added characters in the kitchen. I added them to the cockpit. 
on top of the uh, the bridge on top of the main deck and uh, these these steps they just go all the way to the top Gamorian Guard that's one of the older ones too is it's a, and if you're uh, trying to figure out what the scale is and this is a three and three quarter inch scale action figures I'm I don't know what you would even call it was it maybe one tw no this wouldn't be 112 this is what 118th maybe a 118th scale Oh, this is a cool. I didn't know the camera got this far. This is me just shoving the GoPro back and forth to see what shots I can get. I'm not. Ex I, it's just. It's different. Now I do move the lizard dude. That way you can kind of see the the kitchen, like the willow worms. I, I moved him on the side and and I forgot that. So I remember the 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 frogs hanging there, but I did forget that there was a working stove. Well. In my head, it works or like with a, a stove top and, and stuff. I thought that was pretty. I thought that was pretty cool. I just forgot a lot of this stuff. Again, it's it's been almost five years when the HasLab was announced. Is so it was announced early 2018, like February or something like that, March. So approaching five years. And the la the steps step ladders that go all the way to the top. I thought this was. Uh, unique clever shot here and if you want to get just spooked out I think I'm reaching through the top here you can kind of see my fingers <laughs> hello <laughs> so I do know a lot of folks enjoy these uh, these interior toy shots when you have these play sets and um, vehicles and, and sort to just like to see what it looks like from the inside I know most folks missed out on the sail barge, so it's always a pleasure for me to go back and revisit this wonderful piece here and just look at some of the uh, the work. Because I just I forgot I had this displayed in my magic case for so many years. And that is the back. You can see the steps on there. Kind of buffered out a lot of the the noise, and, and then we're moving. I was impressed that the GoPro with the, with the macro lens got this paint in here. I forgot about this painting. Look at that. That's awesome. A little good morning guard head mount on there. And they didn't take any creative licensing when it came to like that art deco, like the art from Jabba there and the good morning guard. That was all in the original 1-1 one -one scale Jabba's barge that they built for, for Return of the Jedi. Slave Leia, Salacious Crumb. You'll never see. You'll never see Slave Leia. <laughs> I don't think they're ever gonna make her again. Three and three quarter inch, or in the Black Series, the working uh, megaphone there, Yak Face, and a few other Denzin creatures. Max Rebo, and I only put Max Rebo, and I didn't put anybody else from. I didn't put Size Noodle. I didn't see Size Noodles or anybody else. To me, Max Rebo died on this thing and, and I am a I was I believe Max Rebo shows up in the book of Boba Fett which I think it's bullshit because this dude died when this thing exploded <laughs> can't stand that continuity error crap that they that they do uh, deck, let me see so and then the next shot so this is with the macro lens and then I wanted to go back and see if I could able to capture anything different with uh, without the macro lenses so I do go back in there I do know that a Hasbro is going hard on the three and three quarter inch scale figures for the anniversary and the black series thoughts and prayers for you folks out there that are still collecting the black series and, and the three three quarter inch vintage series I am not. I dabble here and there. I am not loyal to it. I'm not devoted. It's just, it's too much. Uh, I've devoted my ways of collecting to uh, one six scale figures, hot toys. So I I find more pleasure in that and then, than trying to keep up with the onslaught of black series that Hasbro uh, drops. Because every year or so, they're always making constant improvements and now they're going hard on the whole Vintage Series collection, which, again, every now and then, if I'm at Target or Walmart, and if I see a figure that I do like or I'm interested in, I'll pick it up. 
but I'm not going to lose sleep in 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 trying to keep up with the collection because it can it can get pretty wacky. It can kind of it can seem very stressful, especially during the holidays. And uh, the fact that we don't have Toys R Us anymore, and some collectors out there would prefer Hunt. I don't miss the Hunt. I did that shit decades ago. I don't miss the Hunt. I'm all about pre-order. I know some of the old school collectors prefer going on the Hunt. My time is just unfortunately too valuable. I remember I used to spend a whole day off driving from Target to Walmart to Walgreens. It's just, no, I, I can't do that anymore. Some collectors still prefer that. And I'm, you know, with gas, what it is, it's expensive. And no, no, I mean, we have, this is the world we live in now where unfortunately, if you do want to collect any of this stuff, you have to pre-order it. So I don't, I pre-order selected pieces that I want. But when it comes to like Marvel Legends and Black Series and the Vintage Series, I no, I can't do it. I can't pre-order it. It's just, it's, to me, I honestly think it's more expensive than collecting hot toys in some cases when you're trying to keep up with some of this stuff. To be honest with you. So, let's see. Maybe, fingers crossed, maybe Hasbro will uh, venture back into the vehicles. Because when it comes to the vehicle Haslabs, they knock it out of the park. It's a win-win. The Razor Crest, any of you who are able to snag a Razor Crest, wonderful, beautiful piece. The barge. So, it's, it's, it's no-brainer. All you have to do is make a Star Wars... Has that vehicle, and uh, you're gonna win. To me, it's a win-win situation. So, yeah, some of these shots came out pretty good. I like the uh, top of the deck. I don't know. Maybe I'll be. A bit, I, 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 I'm still not convinced whether or not it's worth my work and trouble to take this out in the desert. But some of these shots are look good. Maybe with the true light, I'll get a different perspective uh, I do like the little rig because I whipped up a couple rigs to make the skiff fly and try to hold the GoPro camera in and out overall yeah there's a cockpit I added a little blinking lights on there kind of give it a glow effect and so forth so either way well, it was a uh, it was a pleasure uh, thank you for again this is not an unboxing review. This is just me honestly playing around with the cameras and seeing what looks and aspects and me uh, just reminiscing five year anniversary for the HasLab sale barge and then the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi. Uh, if you kids out there collecting the Black Series and Vintage Series, thoughts and prayers because I'm sure it's going to get brutal. As is me, I collect hot toys. I'm probably going to get my ass kicked with some of the Return of the Jedi drops. Like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.